This is the TVNews.TV, brought to you by American Ingenuity Media, simply the solution for innovative on-air promotion, video marketing, plus internet and social marketing. Visit them at AmericanIngenuityTV.com and on Facebook. Here now is Jeff Grimshaw. Hello, I'm Jeff Grimshaw, and the TVNews.TV is back up and running. New set, new location and all. Well, let's begin with some news about another new beginning, the CNN renaissance. Well, kind of, sort of, not really. Ratings post-Boston bombing and Ohio kidnappings, well, they have sagged once again. Jake Tapper in the afternoon, up and down, mostly way down, and Strombolopoulos? Ratings so far say huge thud. But the real new beginning has been the premiere of yet another new entry in CNN's always troubled morning news slot, and it's called Aptly New Day. My mini review. Well, overall, it was promised that New Day would be nothing but new, but in actuality, there's nothing new about CNN's New Day. Chris Cuomo, his staccato, overly dramatic, overly wordy delivery, that's nothing new, but it is annoying. Kate Baldwin, well, stock, but a serviceable blonde. Michaela Pereira, you know what, she's got possibilities. Nice set, though, with clean lines. The problem here is that CNN On Air promo overpromised on this all too familiar retread morning news vehicle, and New Day fails to deliver on the promise. So, how do viewers feel about New Day? Well, they said it in ratings, anemic ratings. The premiere of New Day drew a paltry 247,000 viewers. That was good for fourth place, right where starting point was mired. Consumption for the premiere of New Day was 10% off of starting point for May 2013 and a startling 35% off starting point from last June. Now to editorialize, it seems to me that over at HBO, there's a smile on Soledad O'Brien's face that few people understand. New set, new locale, and now the TVNews.TV has a brand new segment featuring someone we all grew up with. Once upon a time, she hosted Kids Beat on TBS, and now Audra Preluck is all grown up and a top flight media research executive with GFK. Now Audra clues you in on some fresh and very incisive viewer user trends in media. From LA, here's Audra Preluck with the TV News GFK Research Report. Thanks, Jeff, and hi, everyone. It's great to be here. I'm going to provide you with some research fun facts to start your day, wherever you may be. GFK's Home Technology Monitor provides insights on consumers' ownership and use of media technologies. We can all agree that technology and media are overlapping more and more, and when speculative measures of technology prevalence continually contradict one another, the Home Technology Monitor is relied upon to provide guidance for many decisions. Under the Home Technologies umbrella, the Big Kahuna is the Annual Ownership Survey and Trend Report, which is a yearly benchmark study, now in its 33rd year, measuring everything from DVRs to 3D TVs, smartphones, and tablets. As with the last several years, the most notable theme coming out of our 2013 report is the increased access to connected mobile devices. Smartphones are now in 56% of homes, up from 25% in 2010. E-readers are now in 27% of homes, up from 10% in 2011, and tablets are now in 32% of homes, up from almost nothing in 2010, and setting new records in technology adoption rates across the board. The percentage of TV households that report having at least one internet-connected TV device, which is 58%, continues to actively grow, and the actual use of an internet-connected TV to stream content has doubled from 16% to 34% since 2011. Overall, ownership of, mo of a mobile device that is app or internet connected is now at 61% of US homes, up from 38% two years ago. This group seems destined to grow rapidly for the next few years. If you have any questions or would like to learn more, please feel free to contact me. Until next time, thanks for watching. The TV News GFK Research Report is brought to you by GFK. We see the big picture. Visit them at gfk.com and gfkamerica.com. Well, coming up in our next edition of the TV News, yet another bold prediction by our exclusive TV tarot, Prudence Terrio. Now, if you want to get your message in living video to the TV industry decision makers, become a sponsor of the tvnews.tv. To get started, email us at advertise at the tvnews.tv. 
And that about does it for this edition of the TV News. I'm Jeff Grimshaw. It's great to be back with you. We thank you for watching. And as always, go out and make it a good day.